All right, everybody, welcome to our Wednesday night Come Alive call. I am your guest host this evening, Heather Siegel-Letter, Chief Shred Educator and Head of the ER Shred Board. And I am so excited to be here with you all tonight um, to fill in on this call. Wednesday nights are my favorite night of the week because it's the night that we can see how many lives are changing every day based on our amazing protocol with the ER shred, the track to our on. Wednesday well, night. And I am come alive myself. Hold this. Okay, there we go. Technical difficulties. It's all good. We just keep going. Um, a couple of announcements before we get started on the meat of tonight's call. First and foremost, we would love to wish Isogenics a happy 20th birthday. Uh, today is the company's 20th birthday, and they are celebrating with a 20% discount for all new and existing customers because they love to pay it forward to celebrate. So that's how they're celebrating 20 years. So happy birthday to Isogenics. We're grateful for the gift that we have with the, the ER Shred, the Shred Pack that is now with the company as well. So we're super excited about that. I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to our co-founder, Crystal Escobar, and her call last night. She took the place of the Shred Your Body call with her mindset call and spoke a lot about triggers. Uh, she was doing the work on that video this morning to get it onto our YouTube channel, as well as our ER Shred podcast. So wherever you listen to podcasts, you can find that there, as well as our YouTube community channel. All of those things are in the guides of the ER Shred community as well. So if you need help finding that, you just know where to let us um, just ask, and we are happy to help you find that. Another announcement, our group Shred, next group Shred starts Monday, April 4th, it is the summer bodies begin in spring shred. Great time to get your products and make sure that you are ready for that group shred. Shredding with friends is the best way to do it. So we're excited about that. Um, if you have committed to the uh, Shredder's Way, a tribal training course training with Lenny Evans, we had a great week too. Make sure you have signed up for that. That one is a little bit more of a closed training, but we're happy to get you caught up if you miss it. Make sure you just reach out to me, Heather Siegel-Lenner, Chief Shred Educator. I will get you those resources in, into that training because it has been amazing. That training, again, is tomorrow night on Zoom. So if you signed up, make sure you check your emails for the Zoom link. It will be the same link that we used last week. More to come on that. Can't wait. And the passion work that goes with it because we dig into that. So without further ado, I would like to invite our first guest of tonight's call, Sarah Albertson. Sarah, are you out there still? And do you know how to do it? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you, Sarah. So welcome. Where are you calling in from? Thanks. I'm calling in from Boise, Idaho. And it's, it's really strange to hear Sarah Albertson's because I just got married. So it was Rhoda Garrow before. I didn't have any friends on. <laughs> well, you told me I could use your yep. married last name. Yep, you so did. I got you. Yep. <laughs> so who is the superhero that shared the ER shred with you? Um, my superhero was my, my dear friend, Shirley. Y'all know. McNeil? Yep, Shirley McNeil. Um, she introduced me to Isogenics about five years ago, and then recently did the ER Shred. Um, and trying ER Shred was actually a really easy to. See. I knew she would only suggest it if she believed in it. So I didn't do any real investigating. I, I just trusted Shirley. And I mean, I just like look at her. I'm, if anybody who knows her knows that she knows what she's doing when it comes to health and fitness, right? So it's kind of like, when I need to like purchase a phone or something, I see what my big brother has because I know it's already been researched thoroughly. So Shirley did the same thing with me with the R shred. I just, I, okay, Shirley says it's good. It's good. I'm going to try it. So yeah, she was my superhero. <laughs> I love that. And you know, those of us, when we do it, we go first and we're not, I, I see that in Shirley, the way she shows up in the community that it's about just sharing it forward. Um, but we always go first which I love about that. So what's something you're passionate about? Um, I'm, I think, you mean with ER Shred? 
Is no, that- it's anything. Oh, uh, we love music. to get to know our shredders. I, I'm I'm passionate about uh, music. I love uh, writing music and performing and and so forth. And I haven't been able to do a lot of that recently. But um, I love the most. My favorite thing is singing our national anthem. Um, so I, I get to do that all around the state and um, sometimes in Montana at the rodeos and so forth. So that's that that's my passion. You know, you are speaking to my heart completely here. So I'm grateful yeah, that music John teacher. wasn't available so I could have this conversation because, you know, the 15 year music educator in me loves to hear that and understands the struggle of all of the regulations around performing the last couple of years and how heartbreaking that is. Uh-huh. And I hear you with the rodeos. I'm, we have race cars at my side. So yeah. every once in a while, I'd be like at the racetrack working on a tow truck and then I have to go and sing the national anthem and then go back to a oh, tow that's truck. Awesome. So it's nice. Yeah. It's I, nice that is the <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your shred journey? Okay. Um, well, I really, I think my last shred that I did, uh, I, I released about, uh, I don't know, six pounds and seven, seven and a half inches, um, which was consistent with the one I had done previously. So for me, it's kind of a sure thing. The sense of empowerment that I feel um, that it is a sure thing for me. I know that it, it'll work if I follow the protocol. And personally, um, I like it simple. And this is so simple. I love the fact that um, I found the answer for me. And as a result, I'm confident to share like the ER shred with friends who are looking for a simple protocol that works. And one added bonus with that is (laughs) um, if if friends hop along, they kind of keep me on track as well. Um, So I just I just finished a shred and I started another one. I did kind of I did like a little a little uh, you know, five days in between, but, um, but I found that, that I I like to support my friends too. So, um, like my friend Kristen just joined, um, and she's doing a shred as we speak and today's her first fast day. So if you're here, Kristen, hello. (laughs) Um, and, and by me doing it with her, it kind of keeps me on track also. And I found that, um, you know, with the shred, I, one thing that's changed is I'm, I'm not, not that I was freaked out before, but I'll just say freaked out I, I, when I gain a few pounds, because I know that um, what I need to do to get back on track and what I have learned about myself is that I can do a two day cleanse. Um, <laughs> this was a bit daunting at first, but it really is not a big deal for me as long as my mindset is right. And I'm looking ahead to the outcome, which is uh, you know, totally worth, totally worth the effort. And um, I don't know what I've been able to do as a result is um, uh, give others some inspiration and hope that there's something um, that, that might work for them as it does for me. I know that weight loss uh, is a, is a lifelong battle for a lot of people. And um, it's, it's been for me most of my life until about eight years ago. And I have friends who are negatively impacted by extra weight. And it makes, it makes me want to help them see that there is a protocol that works um, if, if they're stuck. So that, that, that's becoming a passion for me also. Um, it's just sharing it with my friends who, who've, had, who've had the struggle because it really impacts your life, you know? Yeah, so, so I hear it was six pounds this shred and you've started another one. So you're into shred what, four for you now? Is that what I three, three, you're going into your third. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So you, I love some of the words that I was hearing. I was hearing empowerment. Uh Uh-huh. I was hearing inspire. Mm -hmm. And from even just our few minutes before this call, being an educator Mm -hmm. and now, now your thoughts, do do you see those two passions kind of aligning within this protocol? like educating around the protocol and inspiring. Yeah, it's um, it surely made it so easy for me because she was, she's coached, she coaches so well and she, um, and she coached me and, and another team of shredders, a couple teams of shredders that I've been um, a part of. And um, so I feel just from her um, doing that, that I'm gaining the experience to help coach, to help coach others. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can see that too. Um, so you said that 
you had weight loss struggles for about eight years, right? That's what you were, that's what you were sharing. I've had it. I had all my life until about eight years ago. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So, so what's, what's different about this lifestyle versus other things you've tried? What are you finding that's been helping you with that? This one easier. Um, I think that it, for one thing, for me, because I, I, I guess I'm lazy when it comes to this stuff. It's simple. I don't, I don't like doing all the journaling. I don't, you know, all of that stuff is great. I know it is, but I know me, and this is just simple. I know what to do. Um, you know, I can eat the same thing for three, three nights in a row and be completely fine. You know, so <laughs> not that you have to do that with shred because I've seen some fabulous recipes, but. Um, you know, I work full time and, um, I have a lot of other responsibilities and, and it's, it's very simple. Yeah. And I, I completely agree with you on that because I'm, I'm like you, I can keep eating the same style of food and be completely because I'm so satisfied by the protocol that Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for the other stuff that I can throw a ribeye on the grill. Yeah. We have to buy the scrambled eggs and that's dinner and it's, simple. Mm-hmm. I love that grilling season is here because then dishes are almost non-existent, right? <laughs> you got a plate and that's about it, right? Uh, that's what husbands are for anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> you're training him early. Good for you. No, he's awesome. Look. <laughs> and so you, how long ago were you married? On um, January. In January. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So is he, he joining you on this protocol? Um, he, he does, he does, a little, he does a little bit, but, um, yeah, I, I mean, he supports me, but he's, yeah, <laughs> we'll go for walks together and things like that. And uh, he'll, he'll do a shake every now and then, but so far that's, that's as far as it's go goes. You meet them where they're at. Yeah. Because you know what? A shake a day is still going to have an impact too. Sure. And, yeah, and that, five- <laughs> it definitely does. Mm-hmm. So were you using, you were using isogenics prior to ER shred? Yeah, pretty much just the shakes is what I was using. Mm-hmm. So you were not a fan of the reset days prior to this protocol? Um, I wouldn't say I wasn't a fan of it. I just, I just didn't really uh, educate myself on it or yeah. So I just figured I was getting, you know, on my way to work, I was getting something, I knew I was getting something healthy, healthy in my system, at least in the morning, you know, <laughs> that's kind of how, how I was rolling. And got yeah. it. So talk to me about how you got your mindset into the, the reset days. Cause you said you had your mindset in it and it, that's how, what helped you get through. So I'm just curious for those who are like, Oh my goodness, it is two day fast, this reset thing that's happening. I, I don't know how I can do that, but you said you had the mindset that pushed you through that. Yeah, I figure, um, I mean, I can do anything for 11 days, you know, so that, that's pretty much just like, suck it up, Sarah, you know, cowgirl up, you know, (laughs) so, so that's pretty much, um, after my first shred, I found it easier to get in the mindset also, just because I knew it worked. So it's like, okay, uh, do it. This is what's going to happen. And this is where you're going to be in, in 11 days. So with the shreds or with the, um, with the fasting that was daunting before, um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly why it's not daunting except for I, maybe the first shred I kept thinking about, oh, I'm not eating all day, you know, and now I'm not thinking about it. I'm just taking my, you know, my cleanse for life and bone broth and, and just moving on. And I feel good. I feel I'm going to go bowling tonight. I mean, I, I don't feel like lethargic or anything. I actually feel better today than I have you know, in, in probably a week. So I think the mindset is just knowing and trust if it's a first shred, just trusting in whoever brought you in. And if it's, if it's a second shred, I I think you'll probably already have the mindset on your own just because the first shred went well. If you follow the protocol. (laughs) Ooh, Ooh, wait, what was that? What was that? Yeah. You have to follow the protocol, but yeah. If you follow the protocol, yeah. It's uh, for me, it's a sure thing if I follow the protocol and I know it and I love that. That's why I use the word empowering because um, uh, I don't have to go all over the, the map trying to figure out what I'm going to do or, you know, uh, count my calories and all that, all that stuff. I just, I just know what I have to do. And, and that, that works, that really works for me. So yeah, and often it works for a lot of other people too. When the, when the food is simple and 
The protocol is simple and you, it's not another job because you're not tracking calories. You're not tracking macros. All mm -hmm. of a sudden it feels like something that you can accomplish, right? Right. It's not another job. Mm -hmm. So now you're empowered. And I know I see Jesse unmuting himself. So I know he's got to jump in with an idea right here. So. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> That's so incredible. I, I love the fact that you feel that you got control back over life, right? You, I heard you say that I'm in control. It's so easy. Um, you know, these are things for me from a coaching perspective of so many years of struggling to try to get people to come along. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's so awesome that, that everybody can find that. So I'm really happy for you that you have that. Um, for me, you know, I think you brought up something that's really awesome and, and you kind of touched on it and I just want to kind of highlight it, but it's that power of connection. It's the power of community. It's the power of friendship and doing something together. And I think that's one of the things, as much as I am like head over heels about this protocol, I live my life by it. I never felt better at all my time, just like you guys have been doing this for a long time. Um, I think the community aspect, if you look at what goes outside of weight loss, like why, why were you stuck for so many years? You know, I don't know if you've ever explored that question. Like you had the tools, you had the resources, you had the products per se, but yet felt stuck, right? Like we, we have these different systems. So when you can tie in ease and protocol and take away the BS and you get that community, do you feel that that was a big piece of your success and continued success? Um, yeah, I mean, the, the continued coaching um, from, from Shirley and uh, some of the calls and so forth, that was definitely, that's definitely a big part of it. And, and it's a camaraderie where everybody is, you know, trying to meet the same objectives to feel, to feel better. And um, some people want to lose weight. Some people just want to feel better, whatever. Um, but anytime you have a group and it's, it, and it's like-minded and you're um, raising people up, I think it's, it's a great thing. Like, you can't go wrong with it. So, yeah. 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 Thanks for sharing that. You bet. Yeah. Awesome. I can see that. It, I mean, it makes you happy too, you know, to be able to have it yourself, give back to others. And then you keep seeing this thing. And it's so cool to, to see this ripple effect. Um, mm -hmm. Still to my, it's one of my favorite things about this whole thing is, yeah. is this awesome community that we build and then bringing people like yourself along and all the other people that you know, and it's, it's just, mm -hmm. we all just connect. So it's so cool. So thank you so much. We appreciate you. You bet. My pleasure. Thank all you. Right. Thank you, Sarah. Is there anything else on your heart that you wanted to share that we didn't ask before I let you go? Nope. I don't think so. I think we got her covered. <laughs> I've taken up right. time. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Susan Woolack, are you out there? Hi. Oh, I hear you. Let's see me now. Ah, there you are. Hi, Susan. Where are you calling in from? I'm in Colorado. Colorado. And what superhero was it that shared the ER shred with you? Um, actually, I... I've been with Isogenix for five years and uh, originally uh, a high school friend introduced me to the product and then Ina uh, introduced me to this ER shred. So, uh, Dr. Ina? Yeah. Awesome. We, we love Dr. Dr. Glenn and Dr. Ina. They are fabulous, fabulous people. So what is your passion? Um, well, it, it was uh, and still is from, for the most part, uh, technology, computers. Um, I uh, just retired uh, in January uh, from my full-time job of, of doing that for a, a local government uh, agency. And um, now I'm trying to re redesign my future, um, figure out what's next. Um, I am just kind of taking it easy, working on my health and um, doing some side education through video and other trainings and some of the things that I'm interested in, trying to see what's going to uh, be my next dream, my dream. So do you know the ER Shred slogan for 2022? I probably it, heard it, but discover you in 2022. That's our vision for the year. 
So it sounds like your passion is right alongside with our, our vision and our goals for the group. So that's really exciting. Every, right, we've been talking about fate with Lenny. How perfect is that? Yeah. So who, um, tell us a little bit about your shred journey. How many shreds have you done? Uh, I just finished my sixth shred in March. Sixth so I, shred in March. All right. So tell us about your shreds. Um, I, I do them every month. Um, I have found that um, for me, this is a lot easier than the original protocol. Um, I lost 30 pounds back in 2017, but it to me did not feel as easy as this weight loss process that I've just been going through with you guys doing the ER shred. It, it just doesn't compare in my mind. So um, the ease, um, kind of like what you said, it's a no brainer. You don't have to worry about counting calories or what it, it um, the things that really were uh, like mind blowing to me was it the first month that I did it, I um, really wanted to get off the sugar and the, and the carbs. And um, I was able to uh, do that successfully after the first shred. And it was so easy not to even be interested in, um, you know, going and getting a, a, a high calorie drink, for example. I, you know, I would after work be so stressed, I'd grab a beer or I'd, uh, you know, make a, make a mixed drink or whatever. And that became almost, um, you know, a go-to uh, kind of stress reliever for me, unfortunately, during COVID, um, that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to break that. Um, and, it, and it was so easy to do. At, in October, I, I didn't have any alcohol for, for a whole month. So I knew it was easy for me to turn it off. Because of this pro protocol, and then my stomach began to shrink. So when I was making my meals, I realized it didn't take much for me to cook. Um, you know, I, I would buy a nice, you know, piece of ribeye steak or whatever, and my eyes were way bigger than my stomach, and it um, it just started getting into a natural flow for me where I kind of knew what my body wanted, and you know, one evening it'd be bacon and eggs. And then the next day, you know, gosh, let me um, make a roast or something, you know, uh, put it in the slow cooker and, and uh, enjoy it. And so, yeah, I, I just, I totally just jumped in and embraced it. And um, it was so easy. I, I just recommend it to everybody. I love that. I think I've heard you say easy about it half dozen times or more on um, just just when I do reference it so I just have a question for you when you came to the protocol was it the weight loss or was it to try and break the sugar and carb addiction um the top goal for me was uh weight loss because I had lost 30 pounds but then during COVID I had gained 40 so I was even worse off than where I was before when I started my my weight loss journey and um I wasn't sleeping well, um, I had acid uh, reflux. Um, I felt like my stomach was up to my, my throat. Um, I felt bloated. Um, I have neck and back issues from uh, some previous accidents. And so whenever I've gained weight that it just exacerbates all my issues. So weight loss for me was, was a priority. And with knowing that I was going to be retiring in January, um, I wanted to retire even healthier than, than where I was at. So um, it was nice to, after three months, to see the progress. And then even now, three months after that, um, to lose even more weight. So um, I'm hoping that uh, by July, uh, which will, I'll be turning 60, that I'll be able to lose another 20 or 30 pounds by then and just keep going. I love that. I do. To, to, to be able to enjoy life in retirement, right? There is no age limit on the ER shred protocol. 
And I, I absolutely love that. Um, we do have the disclaimer that we're not treating, curing, preventing anything, but it sounds to me like you've had some pretty significant non-scale victories based on what I'm hearing. So how's your sleep now? Oh, much better. Um, before I would lay down on my bed, my hips would hurt. And now when I go to sleep, my hips don't hurt. Uh, the acid reflux is gone. Um, if it comes back, I know that it was something I ate that, you know, during the day, a culprit um, that, that you find along the way with this protocol. Um, but it's just been like, I carry little beef sticks, like four or five of them in my purse. Um, I never feel like I can't just eat two or three of those um, and worry about, you know, stepping outside of the protocol. It's like I've got my go-to things. Um, and during the cleanse, um, I was doing the cleanse protocol, of course, the, 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 uh, the original way and doing it with the, the bone broth and really not eating just all liquids has really been, um, it just raised the bar for me on the results. And it's made it a lot easier. And I, I just drink a ton of water anyway. I'm in Colorado, so we're, you know, the, the high desert here. Um, so drinking a lot of water is not an issue, um, but having the tools and the solutions there when you're doing the cleanse just is, it makes the, the world a difference. And consistency, um, almost every month I've lost between seven and 10 pounds. Um, so I'm always kind of in that, that knowing. And when I go back on maintenance, even if I, like over the holidays, I don't know if you saw my little chart I posted one time, because I wanted people to know it's not like a straight, you know. Uh, it's life. It's, yeah, it's not just a straight angle. And um, so, you know, I had my bumps. I could have lost more weight during the holidays, but I was like, I am not in a hurry. I want to do this so um, I can get healthy along the way. And, um, you know, having a consistent protocol to lean on and do a shred every month has been great. I love that. And I hope that everybody goes into the group and looks at your before and after photos, because I did, I did see those the other day. They are fantastic. Um, I also want to talk more about, you had the holidays, right? That was life. I don't think anybody in our community is judging that by any means, because we are here and it's the tracks to run on. And sometimes our tracks veer a little bit, but we're all here to support being on those tracks. But the other thing is too, you had those bumps on the journey. And I, I appreciate you acknowledging that because I think there's a lot of times where people get stuck. And if they don't see that line making that downward trend the whole time, it can get in their heads. So I appreciate that you put that out there for people because people need to understand and accept that. You know, I shared some things too where people are like, oh, that might be a little too much information. But frankly, in the ER shred community, we don't worry about that kind of stuff because bodily functions are part of the process as well. And ladies, there are certain times of the month where you're going to see that number go up if you step on the scale. And it, we need to understand it's okay. Because during some of my learning, I learned that my uterus is going to gain two pounds the week prior to my cycle every month. And I can't let those two pounds define me, but I used to do that. We have to let those bumps and curves of that road on our journey be okay because that's the growth and the empowerment so i'm excited that you're sharing that and i i see you got something else go for it i was just going to say i i i only weigh myself uh before the shred and after the shred and then i don't weigh myself any other time during the month um somebody really uh reinforced my believe that your body floats around the scale all you know every day and if you're focusing on those everyday minutia moments it can really bring you down and so when i take the when i do the shred uh weight 
uh, before I do my shred and I take my weight after I do my shred and I, I, um, I use your tracking sheet um, to, to measure where I'm at. That is something legit that I can hang on to so that by the time the next shred comes along, I, I have in my mind where I left off. Even if I had gained three or four pounds, I don't know. You know, I won't know. And then when it's time to do the shred again, I'll take my weight and then I'll do the shred. And if I gain two pounds before I do the next shred, all of that comes off and more. And so, you know, it's just this, you know, back up and back down. It's just the stair step. And so I, I just come to not worry about it. And I, I just need the people in the back to hear that as well. The day-to-day -day changes are going to mess with your head. I 1000% agree with you. And so I hope, and I've seen people starting to get there, right? So many of us su suffer from this toxic scale syndrome where we have to see it every day. And you see that fluctuation because, oh, maybe I drank more water the day before. Maybe I went to the gym differently. Maybe I did, but they don't connect that act with the stupid number of gravity, right? Yes. The scale is the number of gravity. And so I really hope that people are hearing you because that is so important for us to realize. Probably one of my biggest uh, lessons to learn during this ER shred protocol. Um, and I, I really like just feeling my clothes get looser on me. Um, so, you know, when my pants began to get so loose, I needed to, you know, get into a smaller size. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I'm there. Wow. You know, and so that was my, that's how I learned. It wasn't by how much I weigh. It was because my pants were falling off. So that's so exciting. So what's your biggest piece of advice to help people make that mindset shift? Um, follow the protocol and trust the process. Um, I don't know how anyone couldn't get hooked after their first 11 days. I just, I don't know. Um, so everybody's different. You'd have to ask them why they don't want to continue. And, um, you know, I know some people may not like doing the two shakes and meat meal um, even after the 11 day shred. And that's, that's something that's up to them. But, um, you know, I, I just find that if I want to go out to a restaurant with my friends that I can find things on the menu that is primarily meat based and still enjoy a cocktail every once in a while and not um, and not have it cause um, a hiccup in my process. It just is it's fine. I can totally control my life and how things are going right now. So I hear easy and I hear in control. Yep. And that just makes my heart so happy. So thank you so much, Susan. What a great share. We appreciate you. Is there anything else on your heart you want to share that we didn't get into? No, I, I just wish the best for everybody um, that if you haven't started, jump in. There really isn't a reason not to. Um, you're going to be blown away with your results. I agree with you 100%. Thank you so much, Susan. All right, next up we have John Mayer. Is John out there or is it Meyer? Do you know how to unmute? I think I see you. Here, I can ask to unmute. Let's see if that works. There we go. Hi, John. So is it Meyer? <laughs> Meyer. Meyer. I, I, I always it. I get that all the time. I'm not the singer. So. <laughs> <laughs> You'll save the music stuff to Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so John, where are you calling in from? Uh it's uh I'm in a little hamlet called Glen Huron, Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. And who shared the ER shred with you? Uh my friend Don Baverstock. Wonderful. So how long have you been on your ER shred? Oh, what is your passion? Sorry, I forgot that question. Uh, I don't have one main one. Um, 
I guess my biggest thing is mountain biking. Nice. Um, and so I used to race 24 hour adrenaline races with uh, a bunch of guys and girls, co-ed teams. Uh, it's funny though, when I moved from the city about 13 years ago, I'm in a ski town, Blue Mountain. I don't know if you ever heard of Blue Mountain in Collingwood, but it's a, it's a ski town. And, and ever since I moved here, I stopped doing all those things. I used to teach skiing for 15 years. I taught mountain biking. Um, COVID hit and I just didn't want to leave the house. I'm a contractor. So uh, both my parents had passed away. I had an inheritance. So I had money in the bank. I just didn't want to leave the house. And um, later that summer, I bought an expensive mountain bike. I got out. Last year, I didn't use it. Um, I bought a sports car instead. And then uh, this year, I just thought I can't keep going this way. You know, I'm getting older. Uh, my clothes don't fit and I'm not buying bigger clothes. So that was pretty much it. And so I've done four shreds now. And the first one, I lost 15 pounds. Second one was 10. Third one was 10. And the last one was 12. But like everybody else over Christmas, I, uh, you know, so hold I, on. I'm only a music teacher. I only count to four, but that sounds like 47 pounds. Yeah, but from the beginning to now, I'm about 35 of what I've actually lost because I put some back on. Okay, but still 35 in um, four shreds? Yeah, I was almost 30 in the first month. So, yeah. And it was great having the clothes fall off and the belly gone. Um, not drinking is not a big deal for me, um, but the food has been a bit of an issue. But I mean, who doesn't love steak and bacon and eggs, right? So <laughs> I'm down with that every time. I know. <laughs> I I just cooked three steaks. That's why I was late because I was waiting for them to finish in the sous vide. So because I, I have to remember, that's my biggest problem. The shakes I love, uh, the broth, but it's figuring out what to take out of the freezer for the next night's dinner or whatever. So and that's my other issue is trying to find a good supplier of steaks and, uh, and things. And I've, I've, I've been using one in Canada, um, but the last shipment just I, I wasn't very happy with. So I, I and I did find we have a butcher box here. You guys have it down there. Yeah. So there's a Canadian version I'm going to try. So awesome. Um, so other than the weight loss, how, what other experiences are you having? What other side non-scale victories and things are you finding? Uh, well, it's I don't I do measure every time, but um, it's like minimal. It's a few inches here and there. I mean, the stomach's the biggest thing, but my arms and legs and everything else is, and my neck is a, a bit smaller. But the rest of them is not uh, that huge of a of a deal. Now, the thing is, I haven't been doing any exercise at all. It's just been working, but I, I climb stairs a lot. I, I up and down ladders. I do wiring installations, uh, home automation, all that kind of stuff. Um, so In my, my work, eyes, that's functional fitness. What's that? In my eyes, that's functional fitness. Oh, it is. It is. But I, I haven't, I haven't been to a gym. I haven't been on my bicycle and I haven't been running and all those things are coming within the next month or so. Um, I joined a mountain bike club a couple of years ago. I'm going to get back in with that. Uh, I did the running room a few years um, and I did a big run in Toronto. It was called the uh, Sporting Life 10K and I did that for about five years in a row. So uh, I can't wait to get back into that. And the thing is, I didn't want to do that because I was so heavy. You know, I thought it would kill my knees. Um, and that's the one thing I like about the car is it's a standard. It's a, a high performance Mustang. So, you know, Nice. Um, and the car is just for work and, and also camping and mountain biking and stuff. So, you know, so with all that physical activity, being a contractor, after you've done your four shreds, how are you finding yeah. it? Is it easier to do now than it was before? Oh yeah. I mean, I, I was having problems even climbing up and down stairs and being winded and now I, I have no issues. You know, I went for a hike on Sunday in my backyard towards a ski hill. And no issues at all, you know. Um, it, it feels great to to not have uh, any resistance or any any pain, you know. That's the other thing. I used to have sore back once in a while, and I don't get that at all now, you know. Sleeping, I've never had an issue, and 
uh, food culprits, I've only had one reaction so far, and it was uh, I had a bagel and I had nut nut butter that wasn't peanut butter. It was a bunch of nuts. And a couple hours later, I was running for the bathroom. So, <laughs> so but I've been watching. Oh, but oh, oh, I I feel bad for a lot of the people out there who have issues with like almost everything they eat. You know, um, I could eat almost anything and I have no problems. You know, the uh, the 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 biggest kind of surprise though was the bathroom situation. Like the first shred, I didn't go for like a week. And I thought, okay, this is weird, but you know, it's going to happen at some point. And then, you know, and everything comes along eventually. So, but I used to do a Vitamix uh, smoothies every morning and I was used to having that green cocktail and going to the bathroom, like, you know, 10 o'clock every morning, like flushing me out. So <laughs> this is the opposite. So, <laughs> yeah, it, but I think, did you feel like you were constipated and bloated and stuff when you were not? No, no. Either? No, no, no. But it, it's weird thinking back when I used to do the smoothies every day after the smoothie, I really didn't feel that great. Like, you know, you think you're doing something good, um, but I, I'm sure I felt bloated and just tired and hungry, you know. So and I, I've realized, too, that I haven't been eating enough um, because, you know, I used to snack at night uh, when I sit down and watch TV. And, and once I started having more steak or bacon or whatever uh then the the later snack just it wasn't i didn't have that uh, urge you know so so that sounds like another non-scale victory that you no longer had the urge for snacking right yeah yeah i mean i i miss some foods but uh it's it's mind over matter and it's like do i really need that how am i going to feel after you know um I'm going to probably try stuff just to see how, how it goes. But, um, you know, I've been doing this since I think the end of March or the end of November. And, and I haven't had certain foods that, that, uh, I thought I would, you know, but it's just, there's, there's no, there's no dying urge or, or need to have it. So. And, and you said something that really highlights the empowerment where you said, I, it's in my mind, how am I going to feel afterwards? Do I really want it? Or is it worth feeling that afterwards? And that is such an empowerment that I think so many people learn from this, that food no longer has control over you because you're thinking about food as a fuel and how it's fueling your body and how it's your source. And you're like, I don't want to feel like that after. So do I really need this? No. And you're interrupting those habits that so many of us struggle with. So that to me too, is another like huge aha moment that comes with so much more than the pounds and the inches. Like the fact that you're back working and it's easy to do and you're not feeling that. The fact that you're not snacking at night anymore because you don't want to feel that way. The fact that your body is regulating itself and you're not uncomfortable because you're drinking something in the morning that you feel you have to drink and it makes you uncomfortable and sends you out, but you went through the protocol and yeah, there is time in the beginning where some people are sometimes one extreme or the other when it comes to using the bathroom because mm -hmm. their body is adjusting to how it's consuming new food, but then it levels itself out and it functions the way it was designed to function. Yeah. And I, I think that the cleanse, like, that's also mind over matter too. Like, you know, you just, you know, you, you just, you got to have a broth or something to, to take away the hunger, you know, but it's, it's, you're thinking of the end goal too. Right. So it's like, well, I can do this another day. Like what's the big deal. Right. And you, and then you're looking forward to your steak and butter coffee the next day. Right. So, um, I, the, the thing I, I the, and the one thing I actually, I think is one of the, the best things for me being a contractor and, and going out and away from the house every day for work is I, everything's planned. Like I, I make my two shakes I, and then they're, they're incubating in my cooler, you know, I'll have the first one at nine. I have the second one for lunch. I have my eggs and hard boiled eggs and bacon for snacks. And then I have dinner. And so it's like, and then on, on a cleanse day, it's, I set my Fitbit to, to the timer goes off every two hours. I'm drinking something. You know, so it's it's helped regulate my routine, you know, and I don't have to think about food or, or what to cook. Like, it's just it's a lot easier, you know. 
I love that because I know, you know, my husband was doing contracting. Now he's doing some other stuff, but there's so many times that, oh, I work on the road. I work on the job site. There's nothing wrong with packing a cooler to plan your day to be successful. It's actually saving yeah. money that way too. Not only are you fueling better, so you're working better, yeah. but you're, you're saving money and you're actually saving time on the job because you're not running out and coming back because it's all with you and you can plan for it. I love that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it is time saving and it, and it's just, but it's also more efficient too. Like I got everything with me. I don't have to go anywhere. You know, I used to stop for coffee and muffin like at nine o'clock every morning. Right. And now I, I've got my coffee with me, you know, so. I absolutely love it. Thank you, John. Is there anything else you want to share for shredders? Any advice you want to give somebody who's thinking about the protocol? I can't really think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, then I want to, if he is still here. Heather. Yes. Can I say something real quick? Hey, John, uh, we have we have a lot of the similar story. I, I was, uh, I did AV at uh, low voltage uh, custom home theater, uh, distributed audio, home automation, all that for 25 years. And I did exactly the same thing. I'm listening to myself talk when you, when you talk because, and it looks like that might be your theater room. Uh, no, oh. actually, this is my office. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the VHS tapes. I transfer those for people as a side oh, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've got a, a professional scanner for slides negatives, and I also have a film that does eight millimeter, sixteen millimeter. Yeah, that's so cool. that was kind of keep me busy during COVID. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you kind of reminded me, it's been a, a few years since I did that, but, uh, but I was thinking about, you know, functional fitness and uh, we run up and down ladders, crawl through yeah. attics, under houses. When I was five foot five, 270 pounds, I could grab a hold of the rafter, swing my feet first up into the hatch. You know, I, I had one guy working with me. He was a, he was a real fit looking, you know, skinny guy. And so the customers would always ask me, oh, is he the one that's going to crawl in the <laughs> small spaces? No, no, he's much slower than me. So, but I couldn't walk a mile. Yeah. I couldn't walk a mile. You know what I mean? I could do my job uh, yeah. really well, but, but uh, you wouldn't catch me at the gym. Definitely not on the treadmill. And, uh, and I starved myself fat. I would work all day like you out in the field. We don't have time for that maybe maybe hit fast food uh for a minute uh, or or nothing and then get home and gorge on all the wrong crap and uh it's horrible cycle so uh i just wanted to jump on and say um uh i'm glad to hear that that um someone who who does what i used to do found something like this because i i didn't have it back then i um well, I did, but I didn't, I didn't do it. So anyway, congratulations. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Um, is Rosaline out there? Not sure if she made it into the call. And I don't see her on the list. So I'm going to go ahead and kick it over to our ER Shred Nutrition Ambassador, Mr. Jesse James Jamnick, to close it out and give us some thoughts on that call. Ah, oh, what's up, Heather? I didn't, I didn't jump into the, your, your other two, um, but I wanted to because you guys sparked so many questions inside me that I want to keep digging through you. Um, it's just been such an awesome call to hear where people are finding ease, uh, no matter what the profession, no matter what the time, um, they're finding control over cravings, they're finding sense of community, they're finding, um, you know, I, I think the big thing, Heather, you know, obviously I haven't had much time to come on and do any lives or whatever, but um, I've been doing a ton of learning, right, through school, through podcast. Um, I was trying to figure out, it's actually like, I do at least four hours a day, six days a week. And I've been doing that for the past year of just taking in info. And this is on functional medicine, holistic healing, uh, national board certification of health and wellness coaching. And 
you know, I, I just want to remind some people of this. The most important thing with something like this is, you know, I love that people are taking it as the tracks to run on, that we're taking breaks in the middle. Um, I think one of the biggest downturns in the whole nutrition and fitness industry is this sense of feeling that we've been sold that we have to be perfect all the time and we have to do this and we have to get to the gym. And well, we're, we're not seeing that, right? Like everybody gets to live their life. Nutrition is 90% of the game and it's just learning. It's not about deprivation. Uh, this isn't about necessarily, you know, taking away all the vegetables. This isn't about taking away the carbs. Like this is a, a powerful protocol that can assist people into getting to a place where they can then be in control of life again. And to me, from a coaching perspective, I, I find that to be the most amazing, beautiful thing. And I want to remind people of that. And I love the fact that people shared that it was a journey. Uh, it takes time. Um, you know, love yourself. It, go back and forth. Don't rush it was, was part of something. Um, these are such beautiful things because this is the, the scent, this is the wording that people use when we create lifestyle change. This is not some fad diet. This is not some, you know, quick 11 days and out, um, you know, it, it's, it's just a bigger thing. And I just want to really challenge people to open up to that, where to look at something like this and, and not look at it as a standard fitness thing or just a health protocol, because if you look at it from that perspective, I think you're going to miss the biggest piece of the ER shred. And that's the, the longevity piece. And, and I, I think everybody, you know, I'm going to tell you my ultimate goal. Why do I still continue to eat like this? Why do I still do it? I don't have weight to lose. I think I'm pretty fit. I do some crazy stuff. Like, you know, so why keep doing this? Because at 110 years old, yes, I want to live that long, but I only want to live that long if I can still tie my own shoes. I only want to live that long if I can wipe my own butt. I only want to live that long if I can still climb mountains and see the world from 14,000 feet high or higher. Like if you've never experienced anything, if you've never been up that high, it's the most magical thing ever. And I only want to live if I do that. And to do that, I'm just striving for metabolic health, right? And what do we talk about with that? We talk about regulating the body, controlling things. Um, again, ER shred does not treat you, cure you, prevent you. Um, however, you're a human being and, and you're a hundred trillion little circles and you need vitamins and minerals and nutrients. And you got to find the foods that love you and find the foods that are going to serve you in whatever fulfills you. If you can't tell, I'm passionate about mountains. I'm passionate about adventure. I'm passionate about feeling jacked up every single day. Because why should we not? And this doesn't mean that life's not going to be stressful. And it doesn't mean that things aren't going to get in the way. And it doesn't mean that hiccups aren't going to happen. Hell, I got a five and a half month old. Shit happens all the time. You understand? I run a business with pops six days a week, wallpaper and custom window blinds. I'm doing my health coaching. I'm, I'm in school doing my national board certification. Like, ah, I get it. And that's exactly why. I'm going to keep turning to the most nutrient dense foods on the face of the planet to fuel my body so I can handle it all. So I can be present so I can clear my mind. And I want people to, you know, those of you that have been along on three, four, five shreds, I want to challenge you even further. I want you to think of health as something outside of nutrition. And maybe some of you that are even struggling, this tip can help you too. There's a lot of things, Heather, uh, and team that, are, that are, are really controlling of health outside of nutrition. And this is the next phase as we shift, you know, the ER shred that I want to start bringing in. I was just talking to Heather about doing quick little five to 10 minute videos with all sorts of information that I've learned that I, I'm dying to share with all of you. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just taking this and looking at it as a pure lifestyle. And when you look at things like sense of community, that's something that's been studied, that if you don't have a good community and a sense of uplifting friendships, people that root for you, people that cheer you on, people that, that want to conversate and have ideas versus complaints all the time. 
If you don't have that in your corner, it can cause extra stress. It's literally scientifically studied and that raises cortisol. That causes bad things inside the body. So let's start looking at something like that and keep challenging too is what I'm hoping that people will go to besides just the nutrition. Once you get to that point, that's phase one, where you're smashing it, then you're gonna, you're gonna find this sense of just in-tune connection. Your gut's gonna be connected to your brain. You're gonna understand what they mean by gut-brain connection. You're gonna be fueling off of ketones most of the time. You're gonna feel jacked up. You're gonna be metabolically flexible, which means you can easily switch between carbohydrate sources and fat as, as fuel, but fat is your main fuel, really ketones from the, from the deep production of fat. We can't feed off of fat, but we fat breaks down and produces ketones. And that's why we get that unfoggy feeling and that jacked up feeling on cleanse days. And, you know, when we're, we're a little stricter to the protocol versus playing, welcome to that zone. That's the zone I choose to live in every single day. That's why I'm wired all the time natural energy, right? You don't even need the extra stuff. So you start to question those things. There's also things like, um, you know, outside of nutrition that, that we can look at. So I talked about community and friendship. There's things like, you know, your environment. Um, you know, do you spend a lot of time in nature? Are you closed off? Are you getting red light? You know, red light is a huge thing that, that this crazy phenomenon's happened that we don't get anymore as human beings. And are you in tune with nature because that's how the body is and you start to connect with that and can that be a thing? Um, you know, you start to look at different things that affect you. So there's so many different avenues that people can kind of play with. And I hope as we just expand, I wanna keep challenging people and sharing those things because if we just get focused into that, that fitness, nutrition mindset and stuff there, um, I think we also miss a bigger piece of the puzzle. So that's what I've been finding with life and sharing with people and watching people. And I'm, I'm really hearing it from so many. Um, and it's just something that I wanted to kind of touch on and share with, but to put out there too, that people can just kind of start tapping into for themselves and, and keep questioning is I guess my biggest thing. Keep playing, keep questioning, understand there is no right and wrong. The only right answer for all of you that are asking questions, can I do this? Can I, you can do whatever you want. The right answer is what the right answer is for your body. The right answer is what the right answer is for your body. And that's the beautiful thing with functional medicine and precision medicine of what this next chapter of I see the medical industry even getting into just from the research today, just from everything that's being put out today, from school, from what I'm learning, from mentors that I'm hearing from, uh, amazing doctors and, and scientists, like, I mean, whoa, like, whoa, it is going to change. Sadly, it takes a while, but, you know, you guys are there when you're starting to tap into this, like, this is what life is about, feeling jacked up every day. And, you know, as we heard on so many shares in, in this week and, and so many weeks before, it, it starts to impact other aspects of life too. And that's such a beautiful thing. Um, you know, so when we say, why would you not want to stick around? I don't know. I forgot who asked that, but I don't know why somebody wouldn't want to stick around either. Um, but that's where we hope that the community and everything else that people get that they can just, you know, all the tools are in place for people to just absolutely crush it. Um, there's such a span of knowledge in this group and years and years of screwing things up and testing things out and trying them all combined into this beautiful little bubble that we have of the ER shred. Um, and it's just such a cool thing. So that's what I want to blabble about tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jesse, for sharing all of that with us. We appreciate you. Sh uh, bleh, I can find my words, I swear. We appreciate you always showing up for us with everything on your plate. And please, on behalf of all of us from ER Shred, wish Miss Crystal a happy birthday and thank her for giving us an hour with you for tonight's call. Those of you out there that have committed to the Shredder's Way, we will see you in Zoom tomorrow night. If you need that information, make sure you check your emails. If you did not sign up, make sure you reach out to me so we can get you in that call. But on behalf of the board and ER Shred, I hope you guys all have a great night. And we'll see you next week. Thank Bye -bye. you, Heather. Thank you, Jess.